everyone and welcome back to another edition of the Valley Vlog. My name is Callan Forrester and if you don't know already, this is a video series done by The Gleaner where I try fun activities that you can do at home while still feeling connected to your community. Every day further into summer that we get, the more I just want to lay by the pool with a glass of lemonade and a good book. And I've made homemade lemonade before, but I feel like every time I make it from scratch, it's missing something. Today, I'm going to show you how to improve your basic lemonade and how to elevate it for that extra zhuzh. It's hot. I'm thirsty. Let's get started. All you need for the basic version of this recipe is about eight lemons, half a cup of sugar, a cup and a half of lemon juice, and some water. And then for a more advanced version, we have some strawberries and some basil. Start by making some lemon sugar. To do this, combine three tablespoons of lemon zest with half a cup of sugar. Then using your hands, massage the two together for about three minutes until the oils start to release from the zest and it's very fragrant. Next, juice your lemon so you have about a cup and a half of juice. Now mix that with your zest and sugar and this will become a lemon concentrate. This was an absolute lemon massacre. For your basic lemonade, you're pretty much done. Add about one part concentrate and four to five parts water to a glass with some ice and enjoy. But if you want to take your lemonade to the next level, there's a couple more steps. Pause the video. Do you know someone who's graduating this year? Whether it's elementary school, high school, or beyond, graduations always feel so, so important. And so as a way to celebrate our graduates, The Gleaner has a special hats off to our grads campaign. For $40, you can include a message to the grad of your choosing in the next edition of The Gleaner. Our deadline is coming up really soon, so if you want to submit, use the link below or email promotion at thegleaner.com with any questions. Okay, now back to our video. Start by finely chopping some strawberries and some basil. Then place your strawberries and basil at the bottom of a glass and mash it until you have like a chunky puree. At this point, go ahead and add your ice. Then follow the regular steps, add your concentrate, your water, your garnish if you so choose. Make sure to give it a good stir so that everything is nice and combined. Now at this point, this could also be the basis of a really nice adult drink if you want to add the hard alcohol of your choosing. This would also go really nicely with some wine to create kind of a sangria. There are a million ways to customize lemonade to make it whatever version of it you want, but I'm just here to, I'm just here to give you the inspiration. Okay, I feel like I've been talking forever. I am so thirsty. I am so excited to try this. All right, I have two beautiful glasses of lemonade and now I'm gonna give them a try. All right, let's start with the classic. Oh, oh my God, I don't know, okay. I like my lemonades really tart. Like I like a good bite to them. I don't like them when they're like sicky sweet. That is delicious. And I'm sure that if you like it a little bit sweeter, you could just add a little bit more sugar, but that is like mm, the perfect amount of bite. It's so refreshing. I know of course we have to try the strawberry basil. Are you kidding me? Okay, that is like, if you close your eyes and you picture you're at like the most perfect picnic of all time, that is what that drink tastes like. These are both so delicious. And like I said, they're totally customizable. So there's a way to make the perfect lemonade for you and your family this summer. That concludes this week's edition of the Valley Vlog. Thank you so much for watching. But before we go, we have to remember to put something in our good things of 2022 jar. This could be anything big or small. It's just about celebrating something positive every single week. This week, I got to host a show with one of my best friends. I've been performing in the show for years, so finally getting to host it was really cool. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and share it for the world to see. And let me know in the comments, what do you want to see me do next, and what did you put in your good things jar this week? And as always, please stay safe, stay healthy, take care of each other, and I'll see you very soon.